Now to a CBS 4 News consumer alert and big news from Lumber Liquidators. It says that it's halting sales of all laminate flooring made in China. 60 Minutes first reported in March that flooring made in China contained elevated levels of the cancer-causing chemical formaldehyde. CBS 4 Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen reports. Glued so hard that you can't even peel it off. As we first reported, Joaquin Badias of Homestead was so concerned about flooring he bought from lumber liquidators. He pulled it up with his own hands. Well, what's going to happen down the road? Are we going to have any more health issues? Who's to know? Badias says an air quality test in his home showed high levels of formaldehyde and claims he and his wife have suffered throat irritations. He ordered the test after seeing a 60 Minutes story in March. 60 Minutes tested lumber liquidators flooring manufactured in China and reported that they found elevated levels of the cancer-causing chemical formaldehyde that exceeded safety standards set by the California Air Resources Board, known as CARB. Lumber Liquidators has disputed CARB's testing methods and says more than 97 percent of customer test kits show home air quality that meets World Health Organization guidelines. Still, the company took action today, suspending sales of all of its laminate flooring made in China. The company's CEO said in a statement, quote, Despite the initial positive air quality testing results we've received, we believe it is the right decision to suspend the sale of these products. We will work diligently to meet the needs of our customers to ensure their satisfaction. The Justice Department is pursuing charges against lumber liquidators, and the company is facing more than 100 lawsuits seeking class action status, including the one filed by Badias. Now, Lumber Liquidator says it's bringing in former FBI Director Louis Free to review its sourcing procedures. The company is asking customers whose formaldehyde test levels came in above World Health Organization standards to complete a survey to identify other potential sources of formaldehyde in their home. Michelle Gillen, CBS 4 News. Back to you. Michelle, thank you.